In this video, we're going to talk about using electronic drums with Logic Pro X. This is the electronic drum kit that I'll be using in this video, the Alesis Nitro Mesh Kit. This is the Alesis module that allows you to interface with your computer in Logic Pro X by using this USB port to the left here in the appropriate cable. This is what it looks like when you're hooked up to your computer and ready to roll. Once you have your electronic drums hooked up to Logic Pro X, it is now time to create a software track so you can record them. And now go ahead and pick the drum kit that you'd like to use. Once you have chosen your drum kit, another great feature is that you can go in and individually change the levels for each different drum in your kit or cymbal. To do that, click on this button here. And down here you can see your kick, your snare, your toms, etc. And also you have an option for compression and for tone and room. So what I typically like to do is beef these up and uh, make most of these almost to the max. And uh, I'll add a little compression and I'll up these a little bit as well. And if you're not, if you'd like to change that sound even further, you can go into EQ here and uh, adjust these different levels as you see fit. If you're thinking about getting an electronic drum kit to use with Logic Pro X, I would highly suggest it. If you're just starting, I would highly suggest the kit that I am using, the Alesis Nitro Mesh. It costs between $300 and $350, and it is great. It is very well built, transportable, and high quality. The sound quality in Logic Pro X is excellent, and you are able to customize each drum and cymbal. I have really enjoyed the experience of learning electronic drums and they're really fun. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful.